and welcome back to another episode of Unplugged TV Australia. This was only a short walk for me from the garage to the house actually, but it's a whole new episode for you. So welcome back to the same day, but different video. Car uses 3.4 kilowatt and I'm producing 3.6 at the moment. So it's been charged by 100% renewable solar, freshly made solar energy. Amazing. Goodness. This car looks like shit now. What the heck? Closing here. Yeah. Okay, so we are slowing down 1.9 kilowatts. Okay, we have to go anyway. Stop the charge. 28 degrees, 10 o'clock, 28 degrees. So this appointment is not far away. And um, back to my question, would you, is it recording here it is? Would you, um, would you rather prefer shorter but more frequent videos or is it okay if I do this 20, 30 minute video sometimes? Because look, I'm, uh, open the gate. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> that is amazing. Look, when I, when I film now throughout the day, like, like today with the, all these appointments and I'm, I'm taking you with me all the time, I'm, I'm not sure if this is not too, because it will be at least, at least a 30 minute video at the end of the day. Here you go, 93 point, stay on the road Andy, 93.2% <laughs> state of charge. There was a quick recharge from 55 to 93 without in an hour, a little bit more in an hour. It's good. So um, this appointment is not far away, I need to turn on the air conditioner a bit. And there is a horse on the road, but it's controlled, it's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm at, at these days I'm I'm really ending up with with all this footage after after eight or nine hours on the road here and I cut this all together and really try to compress it down because I know a 30 minute video is long to watch and I myself tend to click rather on shorter videos on the internet on YouTube than on longer ones if if there's a video popping up 25 26 minutes I said oh that's half an hour that's half an hour that's a long time actually to watch not that I mind but it's 25 minutes in one piece I rather tend to click on shorter videos like seven or eight minutes say okay I can spare seven or eight minutes now to watch this video but 26 is a long time so I probably I probably split this day up so this will be part number two now um, there's another horse it's in the fence and um, and make this uh, second video to my second customer which makes sense somehow and then we will have a third and a fourth one maybe so um, yeah that makes sense let's let's try that and keep these videos a little bit shorter but more frequent Let me know what you think. Here's a, a poll. Just click on there and um, give me your vote. Say what you want. I'll do it. I'll do everything for you. That's, that's my first my first appointment with this customer. It's a new customer and I'm late. That's not good. Definitely not good. All right, so we are already on the way back home from the second appointment. Just fixed all this stuff over there. Took me an hour and I have not lost any energy while parking this time. So, which is always welcome. You can see the battery is at uh, 30 and 33 degrees Celsius. I've got uh, 10 past 11, 31 degrees. Well, and now I can I can already imagine the comments and messages I will get. Andy, this is not how you're supposed to drive the car. It's a hybrid car. Well, I'm turning it on and I'm driving it. If it doesn't turn on the engine, I'm not using that much energy. It drives electric and I'm coming home now and I plug it in again because my next appointment is in about two hours, one, one and a half hours. I have to leave. 
and I will just plug it in again. It is on 77% now. And I can only I can only drive it as a normal car. I'm not paying attention to any efficiency at the moment because I'm already almost at home. So I've got the air condition running and I really push it far up. So and if this would be a problem, why is the engine not, not already there and supporting the drive system? It obviously manages fine to cope with all the load in pure electric now. So there's no need for any petrol engine to kick in at the moment. Forgot to press the button. I need to wait. See, there, there's not too much you can do. You turn on the car and you drive. And the car decides automatically if it wants to drive in electric or in on, on, on gas or it wants to use the hybrid system it doesn't it doesn't do it automatically and these shorter trips like this six kilometers or whatever it was shut the gate again just because it's so cool just because these shorter trips are being done in pure electric doesn't mean I'm driving the car incorrectly or something it's it's more like if I I don't press the gas pedal that far that the engine kicks actually in but I don't need to I don't need 50 kilowatt of power to accelerate the car the car drives perfectly fine even staying under this 45 kilowatt of power I am I'm not racing I'm just driving the car normally in a probably slower mode than other people do but everyone is different everyone drives cars differently and I'm not driving sportive anymore with this car anyway so I'm I'm perfectly staying in this green area of the power meter all the time and this is enough acceleration enough power for me even with the trailer it's it's fairly hard to get into the white area why should you push the accelerator that far down it's that's what you do with an ice car you push the accelerator down because it, it needs to rev up and needs the 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 revolutions of the engine to get to the power but that's not the case anymore in this car it's electric you got full torque from one rpm basically so there's no need to push the accelerator further so there's no need okay we are at 76 percent now uh, turning off all this what is my battery 3134 that's fine and we just turn this off so there's there's really no need to push the accelerator any further than and if you keep a little bit of an eye on the green power meter you can easily stay within the EV power mode and which saves you energy it saves you gasoline and it drives the car normally all right so please leave your comments down below if I drive the car incorrectly I'm happy to learn <laughs> okay I'll plug in the car again on 15 and we've got got one and a half hours time you're on 77 percent yeah I'll keep the 15 amp setting I'll just keep it doesn't matter if it's fully charged and that's fine that is totally fine because we've got another two appointments today and it's 11 o'clock yeah, okay I'll do some more work in the garden here play with the dogs and having lunch and then and then I'm off again to the next appointment Wow Kitty are you hot <laughs> Oh. Yeah, 3.4 kilowatt. See, it just doesn't make sense to me to actually un purposely push the accelerator further than the green area just to make the engine kick in and to do whatever then. It's just not necessary. As you know, I'm I'm always driving in eco mode and I, the car has enough power. It, it's totally fine even in the in city driving when the traffic light turns green there's enough power to get away from all the cars I mean you don't need the engine 45 kilowatt is totally fine with this car so I don't see the point to put it on purpose in hybrid mode or in safe mode or charge mode or whatever it's just not necessary and this cannot be the 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 cause of the battery degradation because the last couple of weeks now the last three weeks actually since the last degradation happened I tried 
to drive the car as smooth as possible with under 1C with very very low power consumption in total and as you have seen this morning um, have a look in the other video from this morning we have lost 0.5 ampere hours just by driving super very slowly super efficient very low power consumption for the whole system of the, of the car and even then we have lost 0.5 ampere hours so it doesn't matter if you if you race with the car if you really push it to the limit if you drive very carefully the battery goes only down well this is not even a surprise because the battery doesn't get healthy anymore once you have this um, S, S, SEI, SEI layer structure on your anode, this does not go away anymore. And I know um, Alexei put this comment on my video um, a while back and he said, look, when you drive the car more in a sportive driving style and you use very high currents in and out of the battery, it will actually break down this crust um, the EV range may increase again and they have tested it over there in Russia somewhere and he's got a friend with a uh, Nissan Leaf and he was confirming actually this he was saying yeah if you drive more more aggressive with a car and higher power currents in and out it I don't know why I use the GoPro actually all the time here so if you if you use these higher power currents in and out of the battery it gets rid of this crust from from what i've researched is it doesn't get rid of this crust anymore the it, the only thing which may happen is the crust breaks apart and the current is more easily um being conducted through these cracks in this crust to the anode so it basically the 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 power the current flows through the cracks and this is the only this is the only thing so for a for a short period of time it will give you um a higher power output again and you may see an increase in state of health again but eventually these cracks will fill again with solid material and you're ending up in the same situation again but this is only from what i read i'm not an expert in battery technology at all this is i'm just doing a lot of reading and uh, because i'm i'm technically um, interested i'm the battery is just such a intense chemical process it's very hard to understand what's going on inside and and not all manufacturers tell you exactly what kind of chemicals they put in there they're all trying to to um, protect the anode of course from this crust building thing because this is the this is the part where your battery degrades where it loses capacity they're all having their own recipe for of course for their batteries and trying to max out the capacity over lifetime of the of the battery and preventing this um, layer from building up at, around the anode. So I'm not sure which is true if you have to hammer the car all the time to get rid of this crust or if you drive very carefully but the fact is in the Outlander PHEV the state of health goes only down at least in the software. But as I told you this morning I am not too concerned about this anymore because Mitsubishi um, has provided a solution which I will talk about in a future video. I tell this all the time I know. Okay guys, I um, do some other stuff and then we're heading off for the third appointment today. Mm. Only one bar left. Holy shit. These, uh, these countries, they are losing their bark in springtime. And all this crap comes off now. Yes. And it really makes your garden look like this. Except the dog. And then the wind comes and blows this shit everywhere. See this one is already finished almost. And this one has just started. It's like wallpaper. Now we've got the electric plow power. 
because I can clean up this gravel here fairly easy. <laughs> By the way, it's a free dress day again. It's about 35 degrees, so nice and warm to do some um, garden work. 12.30, we have to go in half an hour. I think the car is almost charged now. 470 watts. That's fine, so it's almost fully charged. Well, we're almost good to go. Going in the pool again, and then off we go. I tell you what, I don't even know if I would install a charging station if I get an electric car. This um, 15 amp EVSE at the moment here gives me 15 kilometers an hour on EV range. So when I plug it in for 10 hours, it's 150 kilometer range. And if I need more, I can just go down to the University of Queensland here. They've got um, public charging stations over there. That's only a four, four and a half kilometer drive or so. So if you go for a longer trip, you can actually plan ahead or you should plan ahead and um, charge the car up at home. I can't see the point to spend another 1502 grand or something on a different charging station, like a 7.7 .7 kilowatt or so. Even I've got the, um, I've got 20 amp three phase power here in the shed in the garage. So potentially, I mean, at the end, if you get a second electric car, if my wife would get another one, I, there would be a different situation, but even then she's not driving that much, so now it should be fine. It should be fine to use just the EVSE which comes with the car. And so a Tesla with um, 80 kilowatt hour battery, I would charge this one on 6 amp. It just takes a while then. <laughs> I know, it's a hard life. Wow, this cat. I have to hurry up. Guys, that's it for this video today. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia signing off. You stay charged. Well, there's someone coming. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.